I'm Mama Eve, and I just wanted to say thank you for the overwhelming amount of support. Thank you to all those that have contacted me about the expo or bought your ticket, or maybe you're even vending. If you don't know, the expo will be held in Towson, Maryland, 8801 Lock Raven Boulevard in Towson, Maryland on October the 29th and the 30th, 2021. So if you're trying to book a room, all you have to do is go down to my descriptions. There's a link there. Just go to that link and it makes it so much easier easier whether you're staying one night or two nights or three nights they're offering a wonderful wonderful discount so i just wanted to say thank you oh yeah if you haven't purchased a ticket yet come on get those tickets because i'm going to give you a discount mama 10 just mentioned mama 10 and you will get 10 percent off your two-day all exclusive ticket but you must purchase your ticket before September the 1st. I look so forward to seeing you get those costumes ready. Because mama can't wait to see them. Alright. I hope that you have a good day. And enjoy my video. Kisses. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mama Eve, and today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day. But once more important, today is your day. Well, welcome back to video six in my series entitled Seven African Powers. And today we're just talking just a very little bit about the six Orisha here. His name is Agum. His name means several things. War, first among mortals, or the owner of vitality. Agum, one of the most powerful, most feared, and most loyal Orishas. Agum is also Shango's youngest brother. Agoon is known to, re or he represents vitality, warfare, leadership, intelligence, medicine, justice, as well as civilization and technology. He is the Orisha of iron, tool, and weapons. He is the one that is accredited to discovering the mysteries of iron and the creation of knives, swords, and blades. His devotees, they might just be mechanics, butchers. They may be soldiers, hunters, cab drivers, train drivers, blacksmiths, surgeons, and or barbers. He is known to protect those that follow him. He is known to protect and to destroy. See, he have a very, very bad temper. Speaking of temper, I'll tell you just this little tidbit. Agum was uh, uh, married to Oya, but it was against Oya's wishes. It was Obatala that felt as though Oya, being the lady that she is, might just cause or help Agoon to calm down. And Agoon loved Oya. But there was only one problem. Oya had her eyes set on a wonderful, good smelling, tall walking man, young man. His name 
was Chango. Now you get it? You get the story? Chango, a goon's brother. And Chango, being the conceited God that he, he is, he knew I can get her just as well as get any other lady that he looked at. And he did. He took opportunity and he stole his brother's wife because now victory belonged to Chango. But long story short, he wound up using Oya to plot against his brother at the end. Wow, what a wonderful, interesting story. Now, a goon is also known as the first Orisha to journey on the earth. Obatala decided that he needed someone to clear the path for the other Orishas. Now, what he discovered is that the earth was covered with trees and grass and bushes. So Obatala had some other kind of cutlery to cut down the bushes and the trees and the grass, but it became dull. So Ogun was the one that was responsible for making a machete. And that's what was used to break down, to cut down and clear the path to the other Orishas. Now, his day is June 29th. His, that's his feast day. His weekly day is on Tuesdays. His number is seven. Can you guess what his colors? Well, look at his alicates. They're black and green, but also red. If you were to set up an altar to Agum, he had many, 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 many feast foods or offerings. I'm just going to be naming a few. Pigeons, chickens, eggs, red palm wine, red palm oil, yams, plantains, cola nuts, snails, or, guess what, rats. Please don't put that on your altar, okay? But also, you can use any metal object, swords, knives, anything that's made out of metal. It would be lovely on his altar. Don't forget to place your cloth. You can use white. You can use green, you can use green and black, or black. And let's not forget, water, he likes rum, and tobacco and cigars. What a wonderful Arisha. If you need anything cut out of your life, if you need your paths to be cleared, don't hesitate to invoke a goon. Now, here's a goon's prayer. A goon, warrior Arisha, a goon, protect me from all tragedies and accidents. Protect me from all evil and harm. Do not uh, permit the iron to hurt me. Be the one in charge, a goon to guard and protect me and that I may have peace. A shay, a shay, a shay. Today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day. But what's more important? Today is your day. Don't forget subscribe, give me some thumbs up, and ring that notification
ringing bell for my next video. And you just go out and know that you're protected today. Kisses! Yep.